Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel and welcome if you are new. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at my completed pages for June. So I managed to get a few more done this month. So I'm very excited to share these with you. And I'd like to ask you guys to let me know in the comments down below which finished page is your favourite. So we'll go ahead and move these out the way and we'll get started. Okay guys, so the first book that I completed a page in is Disney Portraits. So this is one of the smaller books, so they don't take quite as long as the normal pictures that you get in the bigger books. So because I'd already done this page with Ariel, I decided to do this page with Dory. Um, so I had to actually Google a picture of her to make sure that I got the colours right because I thought that this bit here was actually yellow but when I looked on the picture it's not, it's black so I'm glad that I looked that up otherwise she would have been the wrong colours and then for the fish in the background I just did yellow and blue fish as well so that they sort of matched with her. So I used the Castle Art pencils for this one. And then just a little bit of Posca pen to add a couple of highlights to her eyes and um, little bits to her face and her tongue, just so she had a little bit more of a shine. But yeah, this was quite a good little picture to do. I'm quite happy with the result. I think she looks like she is like popping off the page. And I think that's because the background is black, um, but that was already done black. So obviously I just left it that way and just coloured in the bits that I could colour in. So that was that one. Next, we've got one from Rita Berman's book, My Travel Through Europe. So for this one, it's actually a colour along that I've been doing on my channel. So it's a big double page spread. So what I did was I did an individual video for each circle. And then I did two separate videos just to do like the background bits in there so i used the castle arts 120 set to do this um, and all the videos are up on my channel if you guys want to go and check them out um, and then for the background i just used the castle art pencils again just to go around the little details so like where we've got these little swirly lines i did the purple background on there um, and then i added some silver gel pen over these little snowflakes and the little dots and stars in the background just to make them a little bit shiny so if i bring it up so that you guys can take a better look so these were the first ones that we completed on this side of the page and then this is the second half of the page I actually really like these two. These two are my favourites, I think, out of all of them on here. I just really like the way they came out with the different colours and like the pink roof and the clouds in this one. So yeah, I'm quite happy with how this one came out. And a lot of you guys watch the colour alongs as well. So thank you so much for that. Next, we've got one from Rita Berman's um, Four Seasons book. So as it's summer, I decided to go ahead and do a summer page out of here. See if I can find it for you. Ah, this one. So I think this is meant to be a double page spread, but I actually only did the one half of it. So I've got all the colours that I use, so I can always come back and do this the same if I want to. Um, but I did this half. So we've got like the little glass with some juice in the bottom and some little balls and books, sun cream, everything you could want really for a day at the beach. <laughs> so for this one, I used a mixture of um, Black Widow pencils and the Faber-Castell Black Edition um, for all of these sort of little objects on the page. And then for the background itself, I used the Arteza pencils. So I just used like, I think it was turmeric yellow and then like a brownie colour to go over and add in some shade into the sand. Because I wanted to make it look like everything was just left on the beach because I thought, what else can you do for the background really? So I wanted to make it look like a seaside day out picture. And then I used, uh, <coughs> excuse me, and then I used some Posca pen to add some little highlights onto these little cards here and obviously to go around the glass here. And then I used some brown and almost like a yellowy orange colour Posca pen 
just to add in some little dots into the sand so that it made it look a little bit more textured and it just adds to the shade as well in the background. So that is that picture. Next, we've got one from the Disney book. So this is the Thomas Kincaid Studio and it's the Dreams Collection book. So this is, um, it's not A4, it's a little bit smaller than A4. So with this book, this is the first one that I attempted to do. So as you can see, I filled in them, but I completely messed up the floor in here and I just didn't really know how to fix it. So I kind of abandoned this picture altogether and then started on a new one. So this is the one that I've actually finished. So I'll make sure it's in frame for you guys. So yeah, I did this using um, Brute Ferner pencils. So all of this was done, all the background, all the pencil work is all Brute Ferner pencils. And then for this sort of section up here in the background, because it didn't really match the original picture, I just sort of went over with some um, white Posca and then some green and red and pink purple Posca to add in these sort of like little flower details in the background and some extra leaves up here just to make it look a little bit more similar. It obviously doesn't look exactly the same, but it's as close as I could get it. And this picture I've been working on for months. I probably started it about three months ago and I just literally did all the floor bit here. Um, and then was really struggling to try and match the colours and sort of gave up and then came back and did a little bit at a time. So this has definitely been a work in progress for quite a long time. So I am really happy that I finally finished it. And it doesn't look exactly the same as this image, but it's as close as I could get it. So yeah. And then for these little like star details... I went over these with a Posca pen and then whilst it was still wet, I just sort of dabbed my finger on it to give it like a blurry effect around the edges. So I did the same for this like smoke effect here. So if I bring it up, you might be able to see like the little tiny dots that I did and it just makes it look like a bit more like smoke. And then we've got some more smoke up here behind him. But I think he came out really cute. I think he looks super cute. And then the other two as well, they had matching red outfits on. So, yeah. But, I mean, it's not too bad. It's a little bit brighter than the original, I guess. But, like I said, that was really as close as I could get it. But, yeah, that took a very long time to do. So, I am very happy that I finally finished this page. Next, we've got one in a million sloths by Lulu Mayo. So this is the picture I decided to do in this book. So for this one, I used the Black Widow pencils um, to do all of the main sort of characters and the leaves and things. And then for this top bit of the background here, I used soft pastels. So I used like a nice blue colour and then a really light purple on the top just to give it like a little faded effect so it gets sort of darker as it comes down. And then I made this into like a tablecloth so I just sectioned it up into squares and then coloured in the squares that I wanted to be green and then darker green and then the lighter green at the bottom because I thought really they need to be sat on something. Um, and I wanted to make it look like a table, but I didn't want to do like a wooden table because I've done that quite a lot. So I thought we'd do a tablecloth on this one just so that it looks a little bit different. But I really like how inside the teapot you've got the little whales in there. I just thought this picture was just super cute. So I had to do it this month. But yeah, I think it turned out quite nice. I did have to use some Faber-Castell Black Edition to add the grey into the whales because the Black Widows didn't have a grey in my set. So yeah, I did have to do that. Um, and then, like I say, just some soft pastels. But I didn't use any Posca pen on this or anything like that. I think it just looked really nice as it was. So I left it like that. I didn't want to go ahead and ruin it after I'd spent all that time colouring it in. So that's that one. Next, I've got one from A Million Magical Creatures by Lulu Mayo. 
So again, this one was a colour along on my channel. So I think I did this one in three parts. So there's three different videos and they're still there if you guys want to go and check them out. Ah, there it is. So this is the one that I completed with the nice little dragons at the bottom. Um, so for this, I used the Castle Art pencil. So I've got the 120 set. And then I used um, quite a lot of white Posca to sort of go around the star details. And I went all the way around the unicorns with the white Posca as well. And all these stars in the background. I'll just give you a little bit of a close-up so that you guys can see. So yeah, I used the um, Castle Art pencils for all of it, including the background. And then I used a gold gel pen to fill in their unicorns because I wanted their unicorns to be nice and gold and sparkly. So I did that. But I think this page came out quite nice. I actually liked the background, how it worked. I did the same sort of gradient effect. So it's darker blues here and then it gets a little bit lighter in the middle and then lighter again as it comes to the bottom so i just thought that would like break up the background so that we're not doing the same color all the way over the background but yeah i think it came out quite nice i quite like her fairy wings as well i think they look quite cool so that is this page Next, we've got one from Tales from the Forest Kingdom by Hannah Carlson. So again, this one was a colour along on my channel and we decided to do, because I asked you guys to vote this page here with the glass bottles. So for this, we used um, fruit burner pencils to go ahead and fill in like the mushrooms and all of these little sort of items inside the glass bottles and we also use them to colour her in with her dress and her skin as well and then for the background I used some watercolour paints so if you've watched the video you might have seen it took me a couple of coats to get it how I wanted it to look but it came out okay in the end and then I went over the background with some Posca pen and added in some stars and went round the glass bottles to make them look a bit more like glass and also her wings. I went round her wings with the white Posca as well, just to make them look completely see-through. So all you can see is like the background straight through them. And then I did add some silver gel pen to the dots that were inside her wings, just to give her a little bit of sparkle on them. But yeah, this is how this page came out. I think it looks quite nice, actually. I was quite impressed with the finished result. So I hope you guys like it too. And I hope you enjoyed the video. So that was that one. Next, I've got one from Nice Little Town 4. So again, I haven't coloured in this book for a really long time. So I thought I would come back to it and do a page from in here. There's some really cute little pages in here and I just haven't got round to doing them yet. So I do need to do some more colouring in this book. So for this one, I've decided to use my Arteza pencils. So I used them for everything on this page, including like the background with the sky and all the flooring. So it was all done with Arteza pencils. I decided to make this one yellow because I'd already done this one blue because I did this one first and I kind of wanted them to match. But then I thought if I do that blue as well, it might be too much blue. So I decided to go with the yellow. And the only problem with this book is that the shades sort of already added into the pictures. So if you can see there, it's like grey and that's from the shade that's already in the picture. And I went over it with like a darker yellow, but it didn't really cover it up that well. It worked fine on the blue because it was a darker colour, but on the yellow, it just didn't cover as much. So that's one thing that I'd say if you're going to get this book to be mindful of. Um, but for the background in the sky, I used some Posca pen to go over and add some clouds in and then add like a little bit of shine around the light in the middle. And then I did the same for like these glass windows here, just put a little shine on them just so that you can tell that it is actually glass. And then for the grass, I added in some, this is Posca pen, so green and like a yellowy orange colour just to add in some little grass details. And I didn't go crazy with it. I just added a few because I didn't want it to be too busy. But this is how this page came out. 
So that's that one. And then last but not least, we've got this picture from Johanna Basford's calendar for 2022. So for this one, I used um, Faber-Castell Black Edition pencils and I literally only used them to colour in the hair on the horses and add in some shade work to the horse as well. And then the background I did with soft pastels, so it's like a, a light green and a darker blue. And then for all of these leaves, I didn't want to go ahead and fill them all in in green because I thought we we're going to lose the unicorns. And I really wanted the unicorns to be like the main focus of this picture. So what I did was I went around these in gel pen. So where I'd added the green um, soft pastel to the background, I added a blue gel pen and just literally traced over the lines so that you couldn't see them as black, but they look blue. And then where I've got the blue here in the background, I used a green gel pen to go over it. And actually, when you look at it in real life, it's quite a really good technique because it looks like it's velvet, like it's standing off the paper. It gives it almost like that, you know, like if you have like a velvet dress and it's got like um, a pattern on it and the velvet kind of sticks up. That's kind of what it looks like in real life. So I was quite like happy with how this turned out. I think the horses came out really nice as well. So I tried to do them white and just give them a little bit of shading and a little bit of shadow. But yeah, I really like this picture and how it came out. So that is everything that I coloured for this month. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in the next video.